Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those of you who don't know what the hell you are yet, hop along PR here, and we are back playing Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. All right, we're now just heading into the guild. So, we're progressing. Uh, a few things I want to point out. I got everybody's new equipment. I got a slot unlocked for Estelle and Joshua. I got them new stones. And I got... All of, I sold all of my elemental Sepheth to pay for it all, so well, let's continue. Oh, Scarazard, you're right a lot sooner than I expected. Appreciate it coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, Logrin? Did someone tell you they were coming ahead of time? Yes, I received a call from Anya not that long ago. Seems that these two kids are Cassius' children? Yes, that's right. I'm a size beast, you sir. I'm a Stell Bright. And I'm Joshua Bright, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Logren, and I do and I oversee the Bose branch. Your father and I go way back. Please just come in Logren. Sure, we'll do that. That's it, could you give us a quick update on the missing airliner incident? Yes, about that. The Royal Army is continuing its search. However, the Army's current restriction on information, no public updates of this situation have been made. Not only has the general public been kept in the dark, but the guild hasn't heard word either. Really? Why aren't the army and the guild supposed to be cooperating together? Well, that's as on the surface anyway. But actually, there is a lot of opposition between both parties on a number of aspects. Sprint's just saying it's a bunch of jurisdictional <laughs> disputes, right? What he's actually saying is, it's a bunch of shit, isn't it? I hate to admit it, but that's the situation. In addition, General Morgan has gotten involved. Did you say General Morgan? Great. Now it looks like things are going to be a pain. General Morgan? Who's that? He's famous for repelling the Imperial Army's invasion 10 years ago. You should have read about him in history books. Hmm. Amazing enough, I don't recall the name. So what's the big deal with this famous guy anyway? From what I heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. Hates Bracers, in fact. Seems like he even makes it a point to routinely assert that there is no need for the Bracers Guild. Sounds like a whack job to me. So what you're saying is there's no getting any first because of him. It's not entirely important at the moment. What well, really matters is the braces are prohibited from entering the region they are investigating. Because of that, it's causing conflicts with other work. But we came all the way here from Roland. If that's how it's going to be, then time to duel it out with the general and decide who gets to go investigate the incident. You're talking like a crazy person, Estelle. Crazy's good, though. Crazy is awesome. Such as the request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She asked us to conduct an investigation in the guild site, separate from the army. Well, that's encouraging now. It's an official request from the mayor. It'll be a great pretext for us to conduct our own investigation. I see. Well, isn't this perfect timing? Bargren, we'll accept the mayor's request. Sounds fine by me. But before you go, you two are junior bracers, right? Yeah, why? Junior bracers, so to speak, are members in training registered to various branches. In short, their performance is monitored by the branch where they're currently registered. And right now, you see that B. Roland. So what you're trying to say is that we have to change our registration to accept jobs. You got it. All you need to do is sign these forms to transfer your registration. Uh, sure. Our names go here and blah, blah, blah. All right. Looks like everything's ordered. Junior races, Stell and Joshua. As of today at 3.20, your registration here at Boys Branch has been approved. It means you two are now members of the Boys Branch. So you know you're, once you kind of member of Senior Branch, you can do any job without registered to a particular branch. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. Understood. It's pretty much we're still newbies. Yep. Well, it looks like you'll be able to entrust you with the mayor's request. The mayor's residence is near the guest gates. We'll do that. Understood. Can we turn our... Yes, we can. Other carrier. Yay! Good work. Seems to manage to achieve your objective. Come back again if you have anything else to report. Let's see. What else is there? Uh, first must be on Renu Village. It must be ingredients here. I'm in the bind right now. It seems to be lacking a cooking ingredient in regular use. Breeds tender poultry times five to me. Gwen. Tender poultry. East Bose Monster. First monster known as a king scorpion has seemed to have spotted roving the East Bose Highway. Um, tender poultry. For details, please see me in the village. 
Uh, fuck. Pause. Okay, we're back. I just had to see when those quests expired. Because I know that's one thing that happens is quests will expire if you don't have, like, the requirements met by a certain time. Let's see. Wow, he's got a lot of confidence in his restaurant. That must be it's really just like a nice place. Yeah, but he's been pushing anything. <laughs> it's not cheap, that's for certain. If one wishes to stay here for a full cool dinner, let's see. You require a bounty from 30 large monsters at minimum to gather enough Mira. Yow, yeah, not for me. At that price, I'll gladly go to a street vendor. Deep fried palm. Palm on a stick. Palm's in a blanket. You know what? With stealth, you are in my taste buds aligned. Pretty well, I think. And uh, I found out for the quest for like the uh, um, ingredients, I need to beat it out of monsters. Um, but yeah, should be good for a while before I have to worry about those quests expiring. Um, if memory serves, I need to complete those quests before I talk to a guy named Neal or Neil. Um, do I want to go this way? Maybe? I don't know. Nope. I want to go to the mayor's place. Are you the mayor's place? Are you the mayor's place? <sighs> You're not helping me find the mayor's place, guys. Come on. I thought we were supposed to be friends here. Uh Mayora, blah blah. We need to find her and grill her before she skips town. No. Fuck. Okay, cool. So boy said he's requesting an airline. Let's have a chat with her. Mary's house on the west side, okay. I don't think I'm at the west side. Oh, am I outside again? Yes, I am. Please, west side. West side. North. Fuck. I think th this is the way that I came from. So, this should be west. Nope. International port. I don't want to go to the hotel. No. Mayor's residence. Oh, so it's in the north, but it's in the west pocket. Whatever. Wow, isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. Looks like this is a mayor place, all right. I wonder if she's home. Oh. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to Boyce's Mayor's Residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're with the Bracers Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild. We've come down here to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that we should be expecting you. However, I'm sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the chapel. When do you expect her back, sir? Well, let me see. Actually, I would measure her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of murray here, so you may see why Carol at the chapel. Well, I don't know if it's convenient to you. Don't worry, it'll probably save us both some trouble. If you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? It's like a typical wealthy person. Feathers, gemstones, um, what? Uh, how very colorful. That's quite off the mark, I assume you. I'll try to describe her. She looks splendid, or I should say beautifully mature. If she could just find the right man, I could retire in peace. <laughs> uh, never mind, I was just thinking out loud. Oh, yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. It'd be the easiest way to find her. The mayor's being accompanied by a maid, huh? Sounds easy enough to find a crowd of people. Let's hurry and head over to the chapel. Something tells me she's not at the chapel anymore. She's going to be in the marketplace, but... Oh, well. But let's just first trigger that to make sure that she's actually going to be there. Are you the chapel? Yes, you are the chapel. Oh. After my husband is done, we're it's off to the Bose Market to buy, buy, buy. Uh, 
Hey, you're the maid that we've been looking for. And you are? Estelle. That isn't very polite. My apologies. We're at the Bracers Guild. We're here looking for the mayor to confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce yourself. I have her maid. Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being her on hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in live for different. So where's the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky for her religious duties. Huh? She's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off telling me to pray for her, too. I don't know how I should say this, but uh, the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, she doesn't sound in doesn't she sound interesting. Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There is no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound polite, but do you mind waiting at the, her residence? I'll let you know when her... I don't know how I feel about going back to the empty-handed. Where I came with you instead? Come with me and meet the mayor? Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make way to the Bose Market then. Yay! We got another friend. We just gotta find her. Wow, this place is really huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stay out of the crowd. I'm not. I was hoping sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves trying to force the price of food at a time like buying it all up. You're not fit to be merchants at Bose. But, oh, ma'am, we're just thinking how to increase sales for the Bose market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it's worth any other products, it'd be a different story, but Murray making unique making undue profits of necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return those goods to their original prices at once. Alright. We'll do as you say. Now I don't mind your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand that commerce, when you get right down to it, is an established relationship between trust of people. And believe me, if you do that if you do that with business in mind, you can both become wonderful Merchants and boasts. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. Ooh. Got burned. Madam. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm so sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job, as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem. Could it be the bracers I requested? Yes, that's us, but... Does that mean you're... Mm-hmm. Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Mabel Lee. I'm the owner of, mar of this market and mayor of the Bose region. Red flag. Government and business should not mix at all. Just saying that right now. This restaurant looks super expensive. Are you sure it's going to have a KB meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food's quite good, too. I tell you what, though, I heard the mayor of Boyce was a woman. Never imagined you'd be this young. Based on looks alone, I'd guess that you're only four or five years older than me. I actually still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor of my father. Late my father, the previous mayor, all that I did was inherit the rights of the Boyce market and political foundation he set up. That's a uh, rather unvarnished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high hat about it. But anyway, it'd be alright to give the details of my quest with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. I will ask you to investigate the disappearance of the missing airship being close to the incident. I'm of the opinion that braces would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army currently producing. The reason being that we're not fighting a war. We're trying to find answers to solve a mystery. Well, I for one will be honored, but I don't mind if you are waiting us a bit. Eh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, the Royal Army continues to keep the most airspace as no supply zone. Business is going to suffer. And when business has been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something I can't trust to be left to the Army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for help? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incidents. And we'd like to investigate the job, but... The army has actively been trying to exclude bracers and having anything to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? 
Maybe show the army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? That might have to do with something General Morgan, then. That man dislike bracers from the beginning. So you know who the mayor, general is, right, Mayor Mabelie? Maybel. Not Mabelie. <laughs> God, why? He was a friend of my late father's, tentatively speaking. We have a passing acquaintance with each another. So I'm able to do something for you. Meaning? Lila? Yes, madam. Lila produced a sheet of paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed it to Mayor Maybell. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, take this with you. Receive Mayor Maybell's letter. What is this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan to inform him of my request for the information of the incident as officially responsible to the region. I think it would be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at all. Maybe a pretty safe bet, as long as you hide your identities. You would be probably best served by saying that you are messengers of the mayor. I don't know if that sounds like that, but it feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying. We'd just be telling him everything. Since this is a time sensitive editor, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to meet General Morgan? There's a floor called Hecken Gate at the international border of North of Bose. So we'll find the general there. So North. Got it. All right, everyone. I'm counting on you. You leave everything to us. We'll find out everything and come let you know. Looking for good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. All right, let's get going, shall we? The Hecken Gate is at the end of the Eisen Road, north of the East Bose Highway. North of the East Bose Highway. In short, we need to head out of the gate, East Gate and head north right after. All righty then, Hacking Gate, here we come. Okay, so I'm getting this episode here, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Mm,